He was drafted by the Yankees in 2012 by way of the University of San Diego and has the ability to light up the radar gun. James Pazos, all six foot three of him, offers a bit of a funky delivery. And as a result, hitters have had a hard time picking up the ball. Currently, out in the Arizona Fall League, the young left-hander is trying to add some more weapons to his arsenal and build off his success at single-A Charleston this past season. He is a hard-throwing lefty hurler, and if you ask his teammates, he has some electrifying stuff. Oh, this is great. I've never seen anyone spot up a glove side fastball like he does. He's a great power lefty. He's a big guy. He's going to be a big power lefty um, in the big leagues. Coming out of the bullpen has been a specialty for Pazos, and whether he is facing a lefty or a righty batter, the objective is the same, to get them out. you got to come out and, and be ready to go right away, and uh, you don't always have to have you know, two, three pitches, you can only, you can get, get away with one pitch for three hitters or four hitters, wherever you need. You just have to go out and go at hitters. You have to pound the strike zone. You can't be afraid of anybody. You can't be backing down to people. Pazos has put up strong numbers in the Arizona Fall League as he prepares to shut it down in just a few more games and has had a great time playing against some of baseball's top young stars. Playing with him is just awesome. Just being around all the personalities and all the people that come to this league, it's just it's awesome to see, and we have a great time out in that pen, and um, I know in the, in the locker room is a great time, so. And then playing against it is, is awesome. It's a great challenge. You always want to face the best guys, so it's a great challenge to come out here and pitch against these guys. His main responsibility out in the desert is to develop a changeup. We all know the importance of changeups. We're trying to develop that, but even more so with him, pitching out of the bullpen, just trying to get that major league breaking ball, major league slider. And that's uh, Pazzi's biggest obstacle. And that's why when almost every, uh, every pitch he makes down here, it's not going to be a slider, but it's going to be close to it. It's almost going to be like 50 50. I've always been pretty good with the fastball. You know, I picked up a few uh, miles my, with my velo this year and just trying to figure out that slider. It's a tough pitch, so just trying to get it down. He was drafted in 2009, but opted to stay in college, and was then drafted by the Yankees in 2012. Got drafted by the Rays out of high school. Um, it's kind of a late round guy, just more of like a, you know, might be their thing. And ended up just deciding to go to college, spent a year at a junior college down the road, and then um, went to University of San Diego for two years, and really just got on point there. My pitching coach there really helped me out, Tyler Kincaid. Um, and from there, just got lucky enough to get picked by the Yankees. The future is bright for the young left-hander, and he is excited about continuing to develop through the Yankees system. I was in Staten Island short season for my first year. Coming out of college, it was just, you know, arm was kind of dead, body was kind of tired, and we were just going out trying to show them that, you know, they made a good draft pick and show them what I could do a little bit. Ended up in Charleston this year. Um, I actually got hurt half the year, so um, missed a lot of time with that, and then uh, I'm way, way behind on my innings, so this is... Uh, going to help me a lot. Give as many as I can at the end of the year.